Pretty good. Hey. Nine sixty nine. Anyway, so when we start in this sort of position, I like my feet to be touching his leg. If the person's not terribly smart and paying attention, yeah, then they'll let me do this with my feet, right? So you can hands. No, this, I'll grab his gear. I'll grab a loose grip because it's not threatening. If I put my hand deep on my nose, you go, ah, freak out. So a shallow grip here like this. Right? So with my feet on his knees, now I can pull him forwards, so and usually his hands go to the floor. Wrap it around. This hand goes over, under. And if you don't use your knee, he'll just make a circle with his head and pop out, which is the escape. People panic here all the time, and they don't know they can just make a circle like that. Right? So what I can do is I put my knee against his shoulder or his neck to stop his head coming out. So it's called a loop choke, it's really simple, it goes on really fast. Yeah, so we're here like this, this is enough, we tap hands, I get my loose grip, pull his hands on the floor, high elbow. So loose grip, loose wrist, nice and relaxed, all the way around, high elbow, hand goes over, points at the roof, and use your knee to stop his head coming out. Yeah. Really fast, because you're sitting here like this, you're like, hey man, what's going on? Tap, and it's on already. Yeah, super fast, right? So everybody else can do the choke you were doing before, doing the prayer, holding the head, feet your hand, <coughs> thumb, and over, and then the um, blue belt. Yeah, can have a little play with this. Hold the collar, pull the hands off the floor, high elbow, so you're in a nice loose grip, high elbow, hand goes over and points at the roof, knee goes against the shoulder. Thank you. One, two, three.